Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of the Red Ghost Revenge in U4 and in the previous episode we took a little bit of uh, Scandinavia here and basically all of the islands. Also, is there... No, it's not actually a province in the base game. Okay, good. Uh, so we are currently beating down some rebellions and still marching our troops back from Sweden. But the next uh, war... Ooh, I didn't realize that we had a bit of a separatist problem here. Okay then, um... Right, well we do have the transport fleet around here. We'll utilize that. There's some Aquitaine. Transport you there. We're gonna have to deal with this uh, soon, I think. But yeah, I probably missed that somehow. Also, uh, can we... Yeah, we can grab the heavy ships away from that fleet. Not really required. Pop some of you there, and you... First of all, let's upgrade all of you. The Mazin has been beaten down. Or the Rebellion over there, anyway. We'll probably bring one of these armies down from there, which is going to be a bit of a tricky thing, because we don't have a lot of uh, transport fleets. You know what? Since that's uh, kind of constantly a problem around here. So how about... create some transports. 30 transports, just so that we can transport some armies here during peacetime. Probably not going to be using them during war. Also, we're still losing a lot of sailors. Oh, a uh, trader has died. It was level 4 trader, actually. Diplo rep. Spine Okay, um. I'm actually going to take Diplo reputation right now. Still upgrade the level of that. And national manpower, how about instead we take the. No, we're going to keep to the manpower. Not the best uh, option necessarily, but it's better than. Having a good advisor, but only skill level one. Quite frankly, so. Okay, we're not currently losing sailors, but. My goodness, we've used a lot of sailors lately. And that's what you do get when you have a lot of fleet. Oh! Price of class changes. Okay, well, we're not actually producing all that much glass, are we? I've got one over there. At least in our European holdings, not very much. No longer trading in class, though. Right, so we got the troops here. Time to move up there. Are we still privateering Venice? Yes, we are. Ho 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 ho. 38% privateering. Okay. And we are again trading in class. Oh, well, yeah, sure. How much troops does Spain have? Because that is going to be our next major war, I think. Although we could probably, in the meanwhile, just do a quick war here in Marshall Pahit. Oh, right, that's been eating a fair bit of our sailors as well. I forgot all about that. Shouldn't take you long though. And then we'll annex uh, Marjapahit. And then we'll declare war on Spain and Portugal. Make sure to eat pretty much all of America if we can. Spain declared war on Cherokee. Okay, there's a famine. I suppose we can pay off. We'll lose a little bit of mercantilism, but I'd rather pay off a little bit of money to avoid some unrest. Okay, another province has been converted. Keep on going there. Ooh. Oh, Mamluks are no more. Not particularly surprised by that, but yeah. 
So how strong of an army do the Ottomans have? They do have the third largest army, actually. Oh wow, Russia has basically no manpower. A thousand manpower remaining. I mean, they did have a long war and... Yeah, they... Didn't they just declare war on Lithuania? They did. Scandinavia avoided that war. Right, uh, we did get the troops here now. Let's get in there. We should be in mountains, so we'll have the advantage. At least in terms of defense. Not to mention the discipline seems to be in our favor as well, and morale, and tactics. Okay, we'll seize down the capital here. We'll sink down the navy there. March over there, and this fleet can move down this way now. Move into Bali. In the meanwhile, we'll just destroy the army defending the other island there. Because they can't escape. And there we go. Our Majapahe is not going to last for much longer. So we'll probably start trashing the peace deal. I'm not sure that they will accept it quite yet. Oh, they would actually. Grab the money as well. There we go. Well, how about we put you in port? Also, we're a bit high in overextension right now, so we should probably wait a little bit before we declare the war. Just gonna put you up there, you up there, then we can increase the autonomy there a little bit. If we put that under the trade company as well, that's gonna lower it fairly low. And similar with all the rest here as well. So I'm the trade company and then we would probably increase the autonomy as well. Although that does lower the absolutism a fair bit. Which is not great now that I think of it. But anyway, we'll just uh, grab some money while we're at it. And actually, do we have... Over here, what do we have? Probably get the naval force limit up again. And trade steering. Trade value, sure, we'll make that as well. We'll increase the tax modifier. Ship cost, that wouldn't be bad either. Sailors mod actually, yeah, that's something that we will make. Also, did we already create everything here? Pretty much. I mean, we could probably get the tax modifier at least, and then maybe the goods produced. We can upgrade that a little bit, and then sure, we'll make the local defensiveness around here, and more naval force limit, please. Right, so how big of a naval force limit do we have now? Six, okay, yeah, okay. That was 600. Oh, hello, there's a French uh, separatist group over there. Did we get the... No, we haven't quite gotten the transports yet, but we, we almost have them. Then we'll transport probably that army. Or maybe switch these around. I mean, doesn't really matter that much. This one does have a bit more artillery, I suppose. Now, how's the... Oh. Hellray does still have... Uh... Yeah, they do have an air now. And I'm pretty sure that Ragusa also had an air. Yep, they do. We could still vassalize them. Just need to improve the relations with them, which we haven't been doing, really. Because we only have three diplomats, which is a bit problematic, actually. So we've got a few ships down there. Do the... Okay, we got the 10 transports there. We are still waiting for a few more, or two more combined with these two. Right, so how's the 
core making going? Could be better. Okay, let's convert some subject province in the meanwhile. Because it's quick and cheap. They're not there, okay. Advisor cost, oh, that's for the air, unfortunately, but yeah, that's uh, not bad. Bohemia declares, oh, 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 not declares war or anything like that, but demands unlawful territory. How about no? What are you going to do about it? Also, they are going to start losing legitimacy because there's not many nations left in the HRE. Sure enough, there's probably going to be a bit of a rebellion here soon. Right, so let's... Uh, oh, I'm still waiting for a ship. On both of these. There's one ship there and another ship there. Okay, so it's going to take a little while still. Right, we did gather up the... Yeah, now we are getting a decent bit of sailors back again. Probably actually... Yeah, we can at least suppress the rebellion here for the time being. Uh, how about we upgrade the ships here? Oh, fish and fuck fuck. Lost efforts trading copper, that's not great. Probably actually attach that. We already have a rather large portion of the trade here. We can renew the influence over them and we're still missing. Oh, right, actually. Well, no, we can't actually send a diplomat there quite yet. It's going to take a little bit longer before we can. On the other hand, what we could do is these people already kind of like us. We proclaim guarantee. That's 137. Then with a gift of money, we'd get 162. Then military access, uh, 72. Or 73. Yeah, 72. A little bit of improving relations, and then we can make them a vessel. Not sure that we actually need to... Oh, Spain is over here as well. Okay, at least getting some cores over there. Uh, did we get the... Okay, we got some ships there now. Send them to hull, and that one's still waiting. A bit longer. Right, we need to... Oh, yeah, let's go there. So, how big of an army does Spain have? <laughs> 46,000. Okay, and Portugal probably doesn't have much either. Yeah, 25,000. Okay, so I think about... Three armies against Spain is probably going to be enough. Or three armies in Iberia is going to be enough. Also, can we... No. You have uh, two colonies around here. Yeah, Portugal is no longer of his great power. Oh boy. I'm going to recall that and send it there. I want to colonize Papua as quickly as possible. Okay, we got some cores for the province that we got from Scandinavia, which means that we have. Uh, okay. Of extension is still a little bit high, but it's not as bad as as it used to be. Once we get the army from here down to southern France, then we should be alright to start. I mean, we could probably increase our army a little bit more. Also, who is Spain allied to? Portugal is fighting Cherokees right now. And Portugal is allied to only Spain. Start converting Shetland, actually. 
And also I'm gonna try to private here somewhere. I'm not sure where though. Now what other Hmm I was thinking here. Technically, since we hold currently Holstein, which is part of the Empire, if I was to declare one Prussia, which is a puppet of Brandenburg, or junior partner of Brandenburg, I'm not sure if that would call in Bohemia or not. But if I was to take out Lübeck and then basically a land bridge to take out Altmark as well, that would be another province from the Empire that we could have. Of course, that would probably give us a bit of an overextension, so I'm a bit wary about that. Or the uh, aggressive expansion in the in HRE. Oh, and that's a fair bit of money from Mexico again. What's the separatist? Ooh. You know what, let's give them a harsh treatment and get some of the absolutism back. Right, so we've got 30,000 men there, another 30,000 men over there. Plenty of ships around. Tariffs and sugar, no. Go to Aquitaine. Probably stay there for the end of the war. We've regained a little bit of our sailors, but not a lot, to be fair. Alright, let's recall you and send the colonists there. Ooh! Cuba has given us a gift. Not a lot, to be fair, but it's. But I do appreciate the sentiment. Oh right, uh, we should probably make these into states now. Although that probably means that we'll need another seat of uh, parliament soon. Speaking of which... It's gonna be another debate soon enough. Actually, I didn't even check out the number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In this month, actually. Alright, so we got 60,000 men here. After we've done the debate, we'll start the war against Spain, I think. Of course, uh, we will go call in Portugal as... Uh... Uh, go belligerent. Can we increase the sailor output? Um, hmm. Well, not really, but there is the trade efficiency, which is always nice. Or another colonist, but I honestly don't think that we need to increase our colonies at this point. We'll just capture the colonies from others. For the most part, I could say a bit more. I suppose we can let them have a bit more autonomy. Probably pay off a little bit of that. More autonomy, bit of corruption, maybe diplomatic support, and admin support. Clergy influence, we can probably let that go up a tiny bit more, but it's uh, dangerously high right now. There we go. We want that, and now it is time. Oh, take Alabama in. Oh yeah, they're having a bit of a hard time there. Okay, um, right. Portugal has a go belligerent. Confirm. Right, let's have a look at the numbers. Yeah, they don't have a lot of army. Well, that's only Spain right now. Of course, the Brazil and such will have a bit more. 
Like Portugal has still a fair bit of uh, colonies down here in South America, which are not too shabby, actually. Right, anyway, um, let's get over there and over there. We'll keep the navy here for the time being. As soon as we see... Oh, well, spotted some enemy ships. Actually managed to capture one. I'm going to try to conserve our sailors as much as possible. Also, right, they do have Sicily, which I wouldn't mind taking, actually, just for the heck of it. But it might not be a priority in this war. And we can't actually try to form a peace deal. What about Portugal? Let's have a look. So, what could we take from them? Ah, so if we wanted to take the lands, we'd have to take them manually. Which is less than ideal. Even though we did call them in as a co-belligerent, but that could be because of the war goal. Or maybe not. Okay, so we should be able to see now the Spanish side. Uh, what can we take from them? Colonial, Eastern America, Canada, Colombia, Eastern America. But that would be all of that. That wouldn't be too bad, actually. That would make our colonies a lot stronger. And then that would technically leave us with a bit more, so we'd probably take like... Uh, Balears and Sicily? Not all of Sicily. Okay, what if we don't take uh, the Balears and just take those? That uh, would be doable. It would be a bit of an overextension. Potential coalition of Spain, Brunei, Papal State, Ottoman, Switzerland, Savoy and Austria. Not particularly worried about that, actually. And then if we have a look at the Portugal side of things, The fact that we don't get the war goals on them is a bit problematic, unless I have an idea. It's going to take a while, but if we, say, take half of Portugal in this war, and then in a future war annex them, we'll be able to get all of their colonies. That would be the easier way, I suppose. Now, there might be wrong color and all that, but... I think uh, I can manage that. Okay, they are going around there a little bit. Probably sending the army from the south as well. Yeah, there's 6,000 men. We do have 10,000 men here, which we can utilize a little bit. Holstein separatists are still wanting to rise up. I'm just gonna suppress them a little bit. How big of a navy do they actually have? Well, they have a little bit. Not too great to be fair, but... Some that can still sink some of my smaller trade fleets, I suppose. But we're basically taking this uh, war a bit slow, for the time being, anyway. Uh, Austria declare war on Papal's there, lovely. Should be able to beat down that army. They don't have cavalry. means that their front line is going to fall rather quickly. And that's attack wipe. Okay, that's 12,000 men. Can we get that siege down? No, not quite. Oh, they're going around there again. Okay. Oh, hello. Um, can we... 
No, so we're kind of screwed here. We are in mountains, so that might give us a bit of an... Breathing room there, but probably not enough. But I didn't expect that army to be fighting all that much anyway. It's just going to meet its end a bit sooner than expected, but oh well. How quickly can we retreat, actually? Probably a fault losing a little bit. Oh, gosh. Okay. Go in there, catch one of the armies at least. As soon as we can retreat, if we can delay that long. Okay, at least the army is still alive. And with that, we are unfortunately out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.